what we mean by co-creation in Athens and what we've done in practice was the ability to draw around the table the, the knowledge and the capacity of the city to solve any problem at each point in time. Drawing in the capacity needs, a, needs the talent to moderate new knowledge, whether it comes from private foundations, from citizens and community groups themselves, from the business sector or other expertise. This moderation of new knowledge into, uh, into one single project I think is what co-creation means to the city of Athens, but also it also shows a new type of uh, responsibility on the part of city officials and government administration to become good at moderating the knowledge and the expertise of others. It's fantastic that the Lisbon Council promotes the notion of very good services uh, for citizens. Good services are key for people to feel part of a process. It goes um, a step even further into including them in the process that uh, will really make people passionately engaged with what their government is doing for them. The last six years in the municipality of Athens were six years of constant experimentation in an environment that was um, str uh, stricken by the crisis, financial and political crisis, and refugee crisis. This gave, for some of us, in a small scale uh, dimension, the possibility to try out new types of, not only services, but governance uh, methodologies. One thing we did was to create a platform um, in order to connect the municipality with the increasing number of spontaneous activities of public spirited citizens. Once we developed that platform, uh, which has now more than 4,000 activities on it, we realized that municipalities around Europe had never done this in the, such a methodical way and systematic way. Municipalities are, know how to collect problems from citizens, but have never collected the solutions. That was the basis for uh, a new type of relationship between local government and citizens that then led to many other different projects that we co-created together. One thing that we, that we saw was that it wasn't the sophistication of services that led to a feeling of being able to cope within the crisis. It was creating in the city a sense of belonging to the citizens, a sense of ownership of the, of the solutions that we were coming up with them to address the new types of challenges we had to, address, we had to face. It is key to any, any new effort that is done in order to develop co-creative mechanisms, either for the digital transformation of cities or other zones of transformation. What cities of the South, uh, crisis-stricken cities of the South, can teach to the rest of Europe is that there is a compass um, that, that says that share a feeling of belonging uh, with the citizens, um, encourage, encourage them to participate and to co-create to keep that I think that is the most important thing that citizens can, can experience in a city and then open up to the co-creation and co-decision making that uh, authorities ask from them. It was very important during the years of the crisis in Athens to create a feeling of belonging among its citizens, make them feel that they, be, they are part of the decision making process. This was a more important factor um, to them than maybe having designed sophisticated services at that point in time. This is very important and comes at the core of uh, citizens' expectations in a city.